What if we can grow plants in space? Well, now a concept of many scientific minds has become reality. Last year, NASA had begun growing plants on the International Space Station. On May 9, 2015, NASA had activated the Veggie Plant Growth System from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The plants in this module have shown healthy results, primarily the red lettuce, radish, and turnips. The red lettuce has been the most prominent, showing that it is the best suited to grow in space. This project has been conducted to develop a way to grow plants in inhospitable environments, such as the Great Beyond the Space. These results will answer the questions such as, will there be enough food for astronauts to survive long spacebound journeys? Some plants have already been cultivated as food on the ISS. This project will benefit the lives of many astronauts in the future of NASA research and development for more of these spacebound missions. An interesting development that we discovered after spring break was that even though the sorrel was cut and harvested, the plant reached sprout. It may be a self-sustaining plant which would be important in space if seed supplies or germination presents a problem. The plant I'm currently holding in my hands is one of the plants we are using for our NASA mob project. This is called the Shinguku, or also known as Glebinois coronaria. This plant is native to the Mediterranean region. It is very important in Asian cuisine and can be eaten raw or slightly cooked. It has an average edible mass of 1.9 grams. Zovata, or Diplotaxis tenuifolia, is a weedy resilient plant native to Eurasia. It has been grown for many years as a leaf vegetable and its edible mass is 2.7. The Rumex acetosa, or commonly known as sorrow, is native to Eurasia. It has become an important leaf vegetable in many parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia. Its young leaves are eaten raw while its older ones are eaten cooked. Lactuca sativa, or red romaine lettuce, is one of the world's most popular leafy greens. This plant was first domesticated in ancient Egypt over 4,000 years ago and transported across the region. It is the first plant to be grown and eaten in space. It has an edible mass of 74.5 grams.